The purpose of the project is to conserve these very fine monuments, in fact four world-class monuments. Over the period the monuments had also got quite dirty, dirty through pollution, environmental rather than neglect and so that all had to be cleaned deeply and so that now they're as they were intended 250 years ago. We are now employing through um, Prince's Regeneration Trust learning and outreach specialists who are drawing up programmes and activities for the general population. But we're also looking and recruiting for long-term use volunteers to work with the church and the trust to make them accessible and ones who will come help the interpretation, help the maintenance on a long going basis but they will be, they'll be volunteers. It's been a pleasure to get involved in this project, um, not just to work with the, the highly skilled conservators and to see the painstaking way that they worked and the outcomes from it but also to work with Prince's Regeneration Trust. They have been very hands-on, me asking them questions, them chasing me over facts and figures, and always done with something which I would say good grace and professionalism. The monuments, although they're based and settled within the church, belong to the wider community. They are hugely important pieces of art in their own right. And so they are helping to put the village on the map we have secured our heritage for the future. We've opening up new opportunities and it's a legacy.